Good morning, everybody. Um, I know Peter mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, um, but today's just gonna be a little bit different. We are going to do some catching up with some work stuff, some podcast stuff, some playing crazy stuff. Um, so, oh, here comes Eve. Um, so basically, we're kind of just gonna show you um, what like all the processes are and what we do to to get everything out. So I hope you like the little the little insight into my day and then also the production side of everything that we do. So this is the checklist I go off of every day to make sure that all of the pieces of the daily vlog are up and posted. So this is my checklist that I reference. So first I add our little logo in Final Cut to our intro. <laughs> now I have everything in my queue in iMovie and it is time to edit. Okay, so everything is exported. Then I'll have to upload it, post all over Instagram. What else? Do all the YouTube things and delete all the footage and charge the batteries for today. We didn't tell you, I'm home from work, working from home because Eve was sick, but we are getting ready for the Falcon Heavy test flight for the first time ever. Yay! And we got Eve here. We're gonna do a live stream here. Some people are joining and it's having difficulties, but Quite a Falcon. we have the live feed here. We're about 10 minutes away. All right, so the Falcon Heavy onboard computers have taken over. It's gonna be, um, you see that big tree right there? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like middle, it should be in the middle between that big tree and then that cement slab over there. Here we go. Wow. I don't see it anymore. Well, that was super cool. We haven't looked at the footage yet, but that was not as uh, that was not as clear as the nighttime launch we saw a couple weeks ago. So sorry for that. I was really excited. It was awesome to see, but I thought I'd be able to get better footage or shots of it on our cameras. And then our neighbor, who we never met, came over. So then it got kind of weird during our live stream. But that's life sometimes. So super cool. So far, two of the boosters have landed successfully back. We haven't heard yet about the third. And I think it's, regardless, like the, the payload's gone, it's out there, it's going. So that was super cool. All right, so today's vlog, a little crazy. Um, we are, I think, finally Finally, almost back to normal after our crazy trip to uh, Chicago for Violet's birth, and then Sarah wasn't feeling good, and then Eve wasn't feeling good. Um, then we have the podcast. As you all know, if you've been following along with our vlogs, and this is the 199th video to go up on our YouTube. So when you're watching this, we'll be recording the 200th video that will go up. I say video and not vlog because we have the announcement, which was the first day video and then we did a live stream in conjunction with another vlog. So two of those aren't daily recordings of our life. The announcement video that we posted the morning that we were we left uh, is like a day zero kind of video. So as you're watching this, it'll be the 200th day of recording. No, 200th video recording, whereas Friday will be our 200th daily vlog. But we've been getting a lot of questions about or comments about like how we don't sleep and we do so much and we need to like some people are like that's awesome you guys are so determined other people are like you guys are crazy but I wanted to explain a little bit and so I know Sarah picked it up earlier about like how we do our day and how we get all this done because we have a daily vlog we have a button subscription small business we have a podcast now we have a dog and we go to the parks and are out and about all day every day like crazy. So what I wanted to show, share with you is just that like Sarah and I have immense willpower and dedication and we love 
doing the vlog. Everything we do has a reason and a heart and emotion behind it. And I think that's why even though we get pressed on time and things can be exhausting or you might just want to say, like, oh, let's go sit on the couch instead. I think it's because there's an emotional connection to everything we do. What do I want to start with? The buttons. The buttons, Sarah is extremely, extremely organized in everything she does. And that is what makes the, the Plain Crazy Button Club a viable business option that we can still do and she can still design for because she's so organized. We started the Plain Crazy Button Club because we thought it'd be fun to do and Sarah got to then have creative freedom. It was before the vlog. Button Club's about 15, 14 months old, I think. Um, and it was a, an outlet that Sarah could do design work before she became a freelance designer that was 100% in her control. Whatever she wanted to do, however she wanted to express herself, she did that. It was a way for us to connect with Disney when we weren't living here and at the time didn't think we'd live here. So that's where that started. And Sarah's got a whole plan, a whole list about how we do, how she designs, how she comes with the ideas. I help with some of the ideas. I help with photos. I help with a lot of the packaging and going to post office and sending that and then communications with customers and everything but the, one of the biggest things that's the best way to organize is this table right here so this right here is full of all the different months buttons let's see what do we got here we got some dapper dan buttons here different colors mickey for president up here tangled flower over here let's see this one was designed by lauren a different Disneyland series. So we've got them all. Peace on Earth, a Christmas one. That, and here's a cutting board, just a craft, crafty item there. And so that is just like Sarah's attention to detail and organization and her immense amount of creativity is what keeps the button club afloat. Sarah's a schedule that she sticks to, and especially now that she's we've moved down here and she's gotten to a good flow of how to do the, the design work and how to do the vlogging. She even has like specific days across the week that she'll work just on the buttons. Then we learned from a friend about something called IFTT, If This Then That, and Grum. And what those are, two websites, we'll put the links down below, and what they are is Grum is a service where you upload photos and you can schedule them to go post on your Instagram along with the description and then a first comment. So you can put your hashtags in there, then you can set aside what photos, what time, what days you want posted. Um, there's like an aesthetic to it and that's all designed by Sarah. She's got complete control of how the photos look, what the photos do. I help with staging them or taking them, but then what Sarah does in the morning is sets up what photos she's using, if she does editing to them, edits them, uploads them to Grum, sets the time and the caption, and then is done with it. So at some point in the morning, she's done worrying about Instagram for the rest of the day, which is awesome. Then you may see that we post our Instagram pictures, our YouTube links in various places. That's where If This Then That comes into play because Grum is a charge. I think we pay 10 bucks a month for two accounts, and then we do the Playing Crazy Button Club and the Brook Art Project Instagrams. And then if this then that is a cool feature because it's literally that if this then that. If the Brook Art Project uploads a new video, post it on our Tumblr. Awesome. If the Brook Art Project posts a new YouTube video, post it on Facebook. Awesome. If the Brook Art Project posts a, or tweets, put it on Tumblr. If they Instagram, put it on their Facebook album. So we have set that up so that in various different fashions, our social medias are all connected and they all post to each other in different ways because I we understand that some of our followers are just on Twitter or love our Facebook. Uh, you know, we've got aunts, uncles, and cousins and friends that don't interact with us on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, but do on Facebook. So rather than spending so much time each day to take this photo of the castle and put it on Instagram and make sure we upload it to Facebook and then make sure we put it on our Tumblr, certain aspects of that are like domino effects. We do one thing and then it does three to five to six more things. Um, so those have been great time savers that we learned along the way with these daily vlogs. 
and then I'll get to the podcast. I'm leaving the vlog for last because it's like the most in-depth. Podcast is newer. Dom and I do Park Hopper Podcast. Um, it's supposed to be every Sunday. We've run into a couple bumps. We are on episode five. I just uploaded like five minutes ago. So make sure you go check it out. And we recorded five and six tonight. And six will go up on Sunday. And it's all about... Today's was about the top each of our top five favorite quick services. And then Sunday's is top five favorite full table service restaurants in Disney. So you'll have to go there and check those out. But how this happens is I use this Gorilla Pod with this cell phone holder. I put it in front of the computer like so. Put my cell phone on there. And with headphones, I FaceTime Dom so we can see each other. And we can hear each other, but only through the headphones. And I open up Adobe Audition is what I use. And that connects to our, our microphone here, which I got the microphone suggestion from Switch and Flick. So we'll put their information down below. They have an awesome Harry Potter podcast. And then I record an audio file while FaceTiming Dom. Dom records his own audio file with his own microphone. And then he sends that to me, and then I edit it in... Adobe Audition, which which looks like this. You can see I did some splicing of some audio files and some edits, and then I can do different effects all over it and everything. And then after I edit it together, I just export it, and then I upload it to Podbean, which is our website, put in the information, and then that also has its own domino effect of tweeting out, going to our Tumblr, going to different things, all by me pressing one button. Once again, saving me a lot of time on something that typically would have to get done every time that, that we upload. Now, the vlog. The vlog is super fun and super interesting because we started it to preserve our own memories, our own adventures, and to push ourselves to find value in every day. Now, I say that that specific way because it's not about having an awesome adventure every single day. It's about finding value every day. And uh, I've talked to a lot of people that like that idea of just to find value in every single day in some form or fashion and that's what started when we moved down here that's what caused us to do it and then slowly over the past six months we've really found our place in how we record how we keep an eye out of scenes we want to shoot when we're out in the parks or at the resorts what we do and don't want how we do and don't want to present things and that's come with time and practice and doing this every single day has definitely helped and given us a lot of practice and a lot of bit of a lot of opportunity to practice. But first of all, we'll start with our equipment. Now this equipment, I think we've touched base before, so I'm sorry if you've already know all about our equipment. because um, equipment's expensive and I'm a firm believer of if you have your cell phone, you're set. That's really all you need. But we've been lucky enough and blessed enough to give be given opportunities like gifts. We've been given um solid sustainable jobs that let us every once in a while splurge and get a new piece of equipment or just things like use your birthdays for family members and everything and then get and try to get things that are versatile that will be useful to not just to have to have and I think we've done a good job at doing that and I think that literally is epitomized in our backpack here I want to show you the backpack which has like been a lifesaver and a really a game changer for us and it's better light and I have a full table so I can show you really everything so here we have our low pro backpack a little sleeve in front I'll put sometimes stickers or pins in there you see in the bottom here there's attachment for our gorilla pod which is super helpful quick easy to get to and then you'll see on the top this is where I store our magic bands and the cool thing about this is you move these straps and these You'd be amazed at how heavy this backpack is, but it does not feel heavy with these pads. Two pockets here for water bottles, but I usually keep like my keys or what's in here. Festival of the Arts booklet. And then previously there was the fest holidays around the world. And then festival or food and wine. And then shortly it'll be replaced with Flower and Garden. But this is the M Trekker BP150. It's got a cool bag down here that is attached so you can wrap the front of the backpack when it rains and then here is our backpack and what 
this is, is we keep all this stuff with us all the time. And that is because I'm a firm believer that no matter what equipment you have with you, and I'm stealing this line from Casey Neistat, but it's true. Whatever is the best tool you have at that moment is the best tool you should have. You shouldn't be walking around if you want to be a vlogger, like being super upset because you don't have a DSLR and an $8,000 camera. If you have a cell phone, just use that. If you've gotten a $50 digital camera from 7-Eleven or Target, just use that. Like, it's more about your content and you and how you present it than necessarily the tools. Obviously, it's nice when you've got better tools, but it's the content that's, that's the important part. But because of that, if I'm given the opportunity to use the best possible equipment at the time, this lets me have it. So in almost every situation that we come in contact, I'm kind of have set ourselves up for success about having the right thing. But this is the basic lay down. Up here we keep our fuel rod so we can charge our cell phone. We've got a bunch of playing crazy button club business cards that we'll hand out or just leave sometimes. Here's our batteries. These are all Canon G7X Mark 1 batteries with our Sony Alpha battery spare. Here is our GoPro stuff. So I've got a wrist strap with a, just a blank shell. Um, I keep the Hero 4 Silver in here within the, the hard waterproof case just because I don't have to worry about the lens scratching in here. This is actually used to keep... Our friend Sean gave us this. It's the skinny micro puff that'll go on top of the G7X right above the microphone so when it's windy that'll be good. This is our Sony camera that's just for still photographs. Extra lens for it. This was, as if you've been watching, was my birthday present, our Evo Shift gimbal for our cell phone. And then below that I use Maximize the Space. This is a, a tripod holder for a cell phone. You can use, I use a 7 Plus and I think can hold up to a Note maybe. This is a cool tripod. Hold on. Look at that cute dog. Bless you. This is a small tripod that's made to go on the bottom of this to keep it from just like steady ground and everything but I use it far more for the Canon G7X or the cell phone because right there that low profile is perfect for self, uh, for car dashboards with our Canon G7X it's perfect for just adding a, a little handle if you're that kind of vlogger where you like to have your cell phone or your camera on that handle and then this can loosen and switch different angles. It, this has been probably my favorite favorite accessory since we started daily vlogging and this was a $20 purchase on Amazon that I got for my birthday. Not featured obviously is the Canon G7X that I'm holding. And then right here we also have a Nikon camera that's good for low light or for long range that we use but that is somewhere else because we were using it for the launch today. Then we've just got some extra memory cards this is also super helpful for Disney World security because I unzip it, flip it open, they kind of just look around it. A security guard the other day just took this out and shook it because they make those canteens that look like that. But flip it open, <laughs> zip it closed, and then you're good. This also has a big pocket on the top where we keep stuff like medicine, pins, some snacks because we don't eat every meal in the parks that's super expensive. We'll put our poncho backpacks that we got at Unique World in here as well. And this all fits super nice and neat and comfortably in here. It's heavy but when it's on my back it feels good. Ooh, let me put that back. Can't forget that. And that is our backpack. That is like, that comes with us literally everywhere because I, I never know what when is going to be a good opportunity that I'm saying, oh, if I had the GoPro and that wide angle here, it would be perfect, but I don't have it. Or I wish I had the Nikon because we're at Fantasmic and that really cool shot that Sarah got of, of Fantasmic Mickey last week was because of the Nikon. But if we didn't have it because of the backpack and I only had cargo shorts or the um, fanny pack or the bum bag, wouldn't hold all that stuff. Or the gimbal, if it's really sunny and it's really nice and we want to go down Main Street with our cell phone and the gimbal, then we need it. Like, this has been, I think that little Evo Shift tripod is my favorite, and besides that, the backpack itself has been a little game changer because I know everything we need is in there, 
even when it comes to medicine, when we're in the parks, if we need band-aids, if we need sunblock, if we need deodorant, I'll throw my deodorant in there sometimes. If it's gonna be a full park day, I'll throw my deodorant in there. Just so we are prepared. And I think because of that, it helps us to more fine tune what we're recording. It makes it easier for Sarah to edit, which makes it easier for us to give you all the best content we can and making the most of our memories of no matter what we're doing. So, did I cover everything? At least on a high level. Ooh, Eve wants me to pet her, hold on. Get down here so I can pet my dog. Um, she's been sleeping while I was recording. We covered Playing Crazy Button Club. We covered the podcast. We covered the daily vlogging. Um, we have our own set of schedules when it comes to my office work. I do work in an office on Monday through Friday, nine to five. Sarah does freelance work that she schedules with her clients on a job specific basis, but that keeps her busy nine to five with the exception of editing the vlog in there. So we do do a lot, but we are just both very strong-willed and we plan everything out. So with everything, there's heart in there. And with the vlog, it's preserving our life. It's making us take value in every single day, no matter big or small. It's us meeting all of you wonderful people. We've met so many people either just through messaging or in the parks. We've sparked so many new friendships. It's been amazing. I can't wait to see where those friendships go and what new ones we make. So many great opportunities, so many great opportunities that are coming our way because of the vlog that we can't wait to share. And the podcast is just another way for me and my friend Dom to stay close and it's a way for us to discuss new and old and changing things about all theme parks and push our boundaries outside of just Disney, but Universal, Sea Worlds, Hershey Parks, all the theme parks everywhere. And the buttons is like something that's so very near and dear to me and Sarah because we get to create our own magic in a Disney way, but in our own way. So we're busy. We do a lot. I'm sure it's not gonna be the, I'm sure we're not gonna not add something else to our list if it comes in our way, but as those things come, we'll, we'll lose things, or we'll add things, or we'll just change. We're always gonna be changing, we're always gonna be molding how we present ourselves and what we do with our time, but it's all for fun, and it's all for good reason, so we always like to do it for us, our family, and for you guys. With that, it's late, gotta go to bed, gotta get Sarah, she fell asleep on the couch, gotta make sure the dog is good for the night, and tomorrow's back to back to the office, and we're going to Magic Kingdom to meet up with our friend Jill, I think. I think that's the plan, I think. But let us know down below with our 200th vlog going up, if you've been following along with us, how long, and what your favorite memory has been. I would love to read all those, so thank you, and it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.